This is Anne Bernard reporting from Damascus, Syria. Last month, the Syrian government invited me to interview seven prisoners they had labeled as vicious jihadist extremists. Their testimonies, coerced or not, and in no way verifiable, are part of a newly energized campaign to convince the United States and Europe that they are on the wrong side of Syria's war. So, The men were nervous. Their jailers monitored behind the camera, refusing to be filmed. One prisoner limped, but most said they had been treated fairly. Uh, have you been uh, beaten? The, teacher. the Syrian government wants the West to see it as a bulwark against violent jihadists with potential links to Al-Qaeda. We in Syria, a secular Syrian Prime Minister Wael Nader al halki insists that America will soon regret supporting Syrian rebels. Handpicked by the government, the seven prisoners were presented as direct evidence. Some confessions were lurid and extreme. Whether truth, half-truth, or coerced and scripted, some of the men's life stories followed a common thread. They said they had few political views until they were brainwashed by religious leaders and paid to fight, kill, and rape. Four said they fought Americans during the Iraq War. Some stories seemed selected to intimidate. This man claimed to have killed a British soldier in Iraq in 2003. Others were more sedate, even off message. As the stalemated war continues into its third year, the Syrian government will continue to hold these prisoners as evidence of a crazed enemy hoping to redefine its image in a continuously brutal and cunning war. She can tell me. everything I've done. And I'm asking uh, the Mr. President uh, for mercy. mercy. We didn't know how valid this uh, president is.